Chris Harold again. I'd like to thank the board for making a sound decision in the interest of the people. And I want to tell you how important this is to the economy of Las Vegas, because if we have TSA agents sitting up down sexually molesting people to get into uh, Fremont Street or anywhere on the Strip, it will greatly have a disaffecting income revenue stream for Las Vegas and will suffer even more than we are now. And besides that, they're doing the same thing at the airports is gravely affecting the traveling to Las Vegas as a destination tourist stop because of having to be groped by these maniacs at the TSA. Further, there was a great victory for the people yesterday. Mr. Toby, who was the one who pulled his shirt off and had the Fourth Amendment on his chest and was unlawfully arrested and held hostage uh, by the TSA, Miss Janet Napolitano and John Pistoli were found guilty, and the two arresting officers were adjudicated to pay $250,000 apiece plus attorney fees and cost for violating the civil rights of Mr. Toby. And that would be a watchword to all Americans. They should hold their public servants accountable in the courts of justice and hopefully bring back and cessate the atrocities of this continual war against the people to cessate the occupation and the militarization and martial law state that has been evoked since General Order 100 by Abraham Springsteen, a.k.a. Lincoln. The truth of America is much less than what people believe, and there's a whole different version out there for those who do their due diligence. But I thank this board this day for this vote and my hat's off to you for doing something conscionable to protect the people in some elemental form, and to you, too, especially Larry Brown. Thank you, sir.